we are asked to graph the given functions on the same coordinate plane on the t84. We have f of x equals 2 raised to the power of x, g of x equals log base 2 of x, and h of x equals x. The first step is to enter the functions into the t84. We will let f of x equal y sub 1, g of x equal y sub 2, and h of x equal y sub 3. From the home screen, we press y equals and enter the functions. y sub 1 is equal to 2 raised to the power of x, enter. y sub 2 is equal to log base 2 of x. Most calculators only have buttons for natural log or log base e, as well as common log, which is log base 10. However, the T84 does have a log feature that allows the entry of a logarithm of any base. We press math and then select option A by going up, highlight A, which is log base, and press enter. And now we can enter the base of two, right arrow, and then the input variable of x, and then enter. If your calculator does not have this log feature, you would have to use the change of base formula shown below, where if we use natural log, log base two of x is equal to natural log x divided by natural log two. And then finally, h sub three is equal to x. Let's graph using the standard window by pressing zoom and then six. This is a pretty good viewing window. But let's make the graph proportional by pressing zoom and then five for z squared, which will square the window. One thing we might notice about f of x and g of x is they are symmetrical across the line y equals x, which means if we were to fold the graphs across y equals x, the two graphs would match up perfectly. Next, we're asked to give three points on f of x and g of x. We will do this using the table of values. Before we go to the table though, let's press second window for the table set. Make sure we have the table start at zero, the change in the table by ones, and both the independent and dependent variables are on automatic. And now we press the second graph to go to the table. Notice how f of x contains the point 0 comma 1, but also notice how g of x contains the point 1 comma 0. Let's record those ordered pairs. Again, f of x contains the point 0 comma 1, g of x contains the point 1 comma 0. Going back to the table, Notice how f of x contains the point one comma two, and g of x contains the point two comma one. Let's find two more points. Notice f of x contains the point two comma four, and g of x contains the point four comma two. The last part of this problem asks us what is the relationship between f of x and g of x. So looking at the ordered pairs, notice how between f of x and g of x, the x and y values, or the inputs and outputs have been interchanged, or we can say f of x maps zero to one, but then notice how g of x maps one back to zero, f of x maps one to two, g of x maps two back to one, and f of x maps two to four, and g of x maps four back to two. So notice how the functions are undoing each other. So noticing this, as well as graphically the two functions are symmetrical across the line y equals x, we should be able to draw the conclusion that f of x and g of x are inverse functions. I hope you found this helpful.